other good things to do in terms of actually asking somebody or inviting them to be a part of your organization, ask them questions. What compels them about your organization? What are their goals as a family for how they're going to give money to God's kingdom? Where do they give currently? Can you find connectors? I always think that because I have two ears and one mouth, I need to listen twice as much as I talk. And many times in a situation where we're asking somebody for money or inviting them to participate in a capital campaign or some other sort of project that we're doing, that we have a need to talk and explain and coerce and cajole and convince when in fact, I just simply ask questions. How is God working in your life? What is God showing you about your finances? How is God drawing you in your daily quiet time to how you might be supportive of organizations? What sort of causes are meaningful to you? How has God worked in your life recently in a ministry and how did that make an impact for you? So ask lots of questions to really get a feel for, is this person even interested in your organization and what you do? Or there might be a certain aspect of your organization they could be very excited about but not so much other pieces of that. And that's fine, we want to honor that, because again, we want them to feel positive and encouraged that what they're doing is what God is asking them to do. Not because I'm trying to cajole or coerce or be uh, very uh, convincing in my, in my demeanor, in my banter. It's about asking them questions and seeing how they come up with God's leading on their own. I'm just helping to facilitate that in a way that I ask questions and then, if it gets to the point where I ask them to support us, I ask them how to support us, what amount, what feels good, what seems right to them, and then they have a chance to go back with their spouse, with their family, and make that decision.